Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a smoky eye with the Morphe by Manny MUA Glam Palette. And I'm going in with the shade Zaya and I'm using the brush M441 by Morphe. This is a big fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna be buffing this shade out all over my crease and on my outer V area. The next shade I'm gonna be going in with is called Spell Bound. And this is like a brown with a reddish undertone and i'm gonna be using the e22 brush also by morphe and i'm gonna be putting this on my crease and on my lid okay don't click out of this video if you want to learn a trick to blending and creating a smoky eye so right now i'm going back in with the m441 with no product and i'm just blending those two shades together now that that's been said so here's a trick you're basically gonna be repeating these steps. You apply the dark shade and then you blend it out with the light shade, right? With, with that brush. And you're only applying a little bit of the dark shade so that you can build it up slowly. So you apply the dark shade, you blend, and then you apply more of the dark shade and then you blend again. See, this is my second coat right here. And then I'm gonna be blending it out with that same brush with no product, just so that they smoothen out and you don't have any harsh lines. I don't know if you guys get what I mean. If you guys have any questions, just comment down below and I will answer it as best as I can. See, now I'm going back in with that brush M441 with no product and I am blending the shades out again. Continue doing this step until you know that that's how dark you want your eye to look. And that's the trick. So you simply build it up little by little so that you can get to the results that you want. And I know that a lot of people make mistakes and go straight into the dark color and you're not supposed to do that. Although there is no rules, but you know, this is just my way of teaching you guys. Next, I'm going in with the palette Make Life Colorful by Morphe and I'm gonna be using the shade NYC. It is the blackest black I have ever used. And I'm going in with the brush M506 by Morphe as well. And I'm gonna be applying this on my crease. I didn't grab too much of it with my brush. I only grabbed a small amount because this is very dark and I want to avoid making any mistakes, which is why I showed you guys that previous step where you apply a little bit, then you blend and then you apply more and then you blend and then you just little by little build it up like I said. So to blend this shade out, I, if you guys can see, I'm laying my brush down on my lid as I'm dragging the brush side to side. That helps me keep the brush steady so that I don't accidentally go too high or too low. Black is actually one of the hardest shades to deal with, so this trick always works for me. And as you guys can see, I'm not dragging the black all the way into my inner corner of my eye. I don't like to do this all the way in there because I don't want to look like a raccoon. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Anyways, for the next step, I'm going back in with the brush E22. This is one of my favorite blending brushes. And I'm just going to blend those shades together. Now, after repeating the steps off camera, like I said before, I'm going in with the NYX eyeliner and you guys I don't recommend this one because it dries out like I've mentioned in another video to apply this I'm going in with the brush m213 by morphe and I'm only going to be applying this on my lid you guys I don't want to go above my crease or I'm going to mess up the whole look and once that is done I'm going in with the brush m503 the one that i use with the black eyeshadow and i'm just gonna blend those shades out with the eyeliner and once i do that i'm going back in with the brush e22 and with no product i'm just using it to blend the shades out together like i said most of the time you just have to go back in with these brushes with no product just with whatever is left over and blend it out so that it looks smooth as you guys can see Next, I'm going in with my Believe Beauty Concealer. As you guys can see, I'm not letting the concealer touch the eyeshadow because I want to keep that round shape. So I'm going to start patting down the concealer from my inner eye towards my outer eye. That way, when I'm taking care of that outer area, I only have a small amount of concealer left. And as you guys can see, there's no harsh line. I'm just slowly dabbing the sponge on there so that it blends good and it doesn't ruin the round shape I created. Next, I'm going in with the shade Stonewall and I'm using the JH39 brush 
This brush is from the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe collection and I'm gonna be applying this on my inner corner of my eye. I did spray my brush with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just so that this shade is more intense since it's very sparkly. And I'm also applying some on my brow bone but just a small amount. And then I'm gonna be going back in with the M441 brush and I'm not applying any product. I'm just gonna be using it to blend the brown with that shimmery shade. Next, I'm going to be doing my under eye and I'm going in with the shade NYC and this is that black shade again and I'm going to be connecting this from my lower lash line to the black on the top and I'm using the JH43 flat brush and I'm tightly applying this onto my lower lash line, you guys. I don't want to make a mess and I don't want to look like a raccoon. <laughs> so after we apply this shade, I'm going in with the shade Spellbound and the brush JH40 and this is that reddish brownish shade and i'm gonna be using this to blend out the black just like the top and create the smoky effect and now i'm going in with my favorite mascara this is the better than sex mascara by Too faced and i'm gonna be applying some light coats on my top lashes and my bottom lashes and then I'm going to be going in with my false lashes from Lash Couture. And these are in the style Gala. These are perfect for this eye look because they give you like a cat eye vibe. So once that is applied, I'm going to be applying some highlighter. And this is in the shade Apollo. And that is the final step for this look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video.